Normally they're written a warning um, and, and they're, they're, they're counseled as far as, okay, we know that you have this problem here, here's your warning, how can we clean this up? Or they're written a citation um, for a 30-day citation and they're told, if you can get this cleaned up, but say for instance a situation of illegal dumping in someone's backyard. Um, you might not would ever think this, but sometimes people who have heavy equipment will dig holes in their backyard near the tree line, and that's where they throw their trash. Well, then they go to burn their yard off, and the fire department gets there, and we discover an illegal landfill. So we'll write them a citation, because an illegal land landfill is something that the EPD is very interested in, and the county can get in trouble for not correcting that issue. But we'll say, you get this cleaned up, and we'll come back out here and inspect, inspect it, and just, you know, please don't do this again. Um, but sometimes people just refuse, and, and when that happens, they go to court. If you bury this garbage, you trash or whatever, you can't bury it. I know you can't. Right. I worked at I worked at job like that. Uh -huh. If you do that and you catch somebody doing that, then is that a penalty, or how do they handle that part now? Do they have to? remove all that material and the dirt and all stuff. They do have to remove it, yes sir. They have to clean that up. EPD comes out and they inspect that site to make sure that there's been no um, leaching of you know things like household chemicals or oil or things like that into the soil. Um, and and there as I said here, most violations go to magistrate court. There can be violations that are so severe that they go directly to state court. There are things that, that can, are violation of the local ordinance that code enforcement works with that are just so severe we can't handle it on a local level. And if you've worked in that business, you know what it's like when the EPD thinks that there's been a violation or, or some sort of illegal dumping there. It is very difficult. Um, being a rural county, though, um, there are many of us who grew up out in the county on farms who have burnt every bit of our trash our entire lives. And when you're dealing with that segment of our population, sometimes they, they truly don't know. Or even whenever you educate them on the current process, um, they don't really care for it too much. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Uh, we have a lot of illegal dumping on our property. It's a real problem. People just bring their trash out to our property, drive on, and discard it. Mm -hmm. um, and so what am I going to do? Call law enforcement and say, hey, somebody like dropped a mattress times 10 on my property? Right. Code enforcement isn't going to pick it up. They're not going to take it away from me. Well, what they'll do, if someone calls in and, and there's a large area like that that needs to be cleaned up, there are several ways that we can get that cleaned up. Number one, if the property owner has done the dumping themselves, and it's so significant, sometimes the county can go through a forced abatement, which means they go in and clean it up, and then they either pay the county back for cleaning it up, or there's a lien paste placed on that property until it's so that it eventually gets paid. Um, or um, Keith Lounge Hall House Beautiful has been um, a huge asset to our entire community, not just the county, um, but our cities as well, as far as cleaning up some of those sites, especially out in the county and around our rivers and things like that. Um, don't ever, even if you see just a bag of trash or something like a mattress or a washing machine, um, you know, think that nothing's ever going to get done or that it's not going to be investigated. You would be surprised the cases that um, we have taken to court that have been prosecuted and people have been fined um, because they have not been smart enough to take the sticker off their pizza box or shred their mail before they threw it in the trash. And many times there's a name there. And if there's a name, if there's an entire room full of trash, and I, Paige Dukes, dumped one bag of trash in that entire room, but I'm the only name that's found, I just bought myself a room full of trash. So whoever is found to be a part of that is responsible for that, that cleanup in its entirety.